Well, hi guys. Today is September. Uh, well, it's Friday the thirteenth. Um, I'm out here in the bean field, and I'm in that green streak, or the yellow streak that turned back green. That's green now, while everything else is looking dry, drier. So, I'm going to go out here. I want to dig a plant, couple of plants up. I'm going to bring them back to the truck. And I'm going to check for nematodes. So, hang on. I'll be right back here in a minute, guys. Okay, guys. I went out and dug a, I don't know, three or four, four plants here that was together. And as you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six beans on that one. Two, four, six on that one. Now you get the idea. Um, this is not the best ground for this. Um, but you can see nematode. They're hard, hard for me to look at and see. Um, but they are on there. The seed bulb. Two there. One, two, three. You know, this ground is hard. Uh, if you look at the, the roots here, this ground is not, it's moist, but it's hard. Um, and it doesn't break apart real super simple easy but I can see them so Yeah, there, there, there. There's one. It's a big one. Yeah, they're definitely there. I'm going right there by my finger. So they're definitely in there. Yeah, when Bruce told me, see how this ground does? It's flaky like. See them? There's some. One, two, three. So they're definitely there. Uh, like I say, this is not the most, the best ground for this. Um, it's wet. I mean, make mud balls out of it yet. But they're for sure in there. See a couple right there. One by my fingers 
the one right here. So, we know what they are now, what the deal is. Uh, this, like I said, Taylor, well, Bruce told me what this was. Uh, I had never heard of this before. And it's kind of one of them, that's why I went to see him. Because I didn't know what they were. And if there's, only, if there's somebody that's going to tell me straight, it's Mr. Bruce Goodwin. Um, you know. He's that type of guy that he'll just tell you the way it is. Whether you want to hear it or not, he's going to tell you the truth. And that sure told me. Um, get it to where you see it, there's one, two, three, three right there. Because the nodules will be white. These are brown. So, yep, there's one right there. At least we know what it is now. And... I know it's time for a change. All these replant beans, that's about what they look like. All of them. All those replants that are out there are just, you know, that way. Six, seven beans on a stalk. Pines on a stalk. Now, the original plants, and I really can't believe they did it, um, this is another one of those I can't, never really seen this happen before. They didn't come up. I mean, I planted three weeks after the original plants. I planted them the 9th of June, the originals, and when I replanted, it was the... Uh, 29th and 30th of June uh, but you know they're potted clear the bottom they all are but these replants look just like that there's nothing for six eight inches off the ground so yeah, it's, it is what it is. So I'll be right back. Uh, like I say, it is what it is. And uh, now I know what it is. And, you know, I got to, you know, got to make some changes here. Um, like I say, Bruce, when he looked at the... Uh, videos I'd posted uh, he was kind of in uh, the same boat well I don't want to say boat he was in the same line of thinking a lot of you guys were that it's uh, spray drift it's chemical or fertilizer or you know something along that lines but when I showed him the last video where these had literally greened back up he said he knew right then and there what it was he said that there's only one thing it can be and that's those soybean cyst nematodes he said what they've done they've reached the end of their life cycle they're dying they've laid their eggs they're dying so suddenly the soybeans are getting the nutrients instead of the worms. And they took off, you know, they green back up. So how, what are you going to do? <laughs> Cut them and 
make plans for next year and hope for the best um, and he said if I get a shovel full and I've got how was it if I come up with around 10 of the cyst he said then there's a problem I, you know you know, there's two right there that you can see really plain. There and there. Just on that one. Well, there's one right there. My fingertip. So we know what the problem is now. Uh, yeah. Let's see him. So, there's definitely a problem here. So, this will for sure be putting corn next year. Um, this is where the problem is right now. This will be corn next year. Um, corn here and the backfield uh, this I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet over by the house will be putting beans but it'll be uh, the resist nematode resistant beans and I might get some or treat with uh, treated with Olivo, I think, is what it's called. Uh, I'll try that over there. That's all I can do, really. So, <laughs> oh, it's never dull around here, I can tell you that. But that's for sure what it is. And like I say, this is not the best easiest ground to break apart to get you know where you want to get to the roots but I see enough of the roots and can see you know kind of what's there and I can for sure see the the nematodes so oddly I don't really see any big uh, nodules tell you the truth this was a little drier it probably helped but it's uh Can't tell if that's a nodule or a nematode. And four or five right there. So it is what it is. Uh, time to make changes. So <laughs> I can't remember who it was I told I was going to do this today. And I've done it now. And we got video. So. For sure got nem nematodes in here, so. Well, it's just now change farming, change the way I farm and do things. We'll see you next time, guys. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. See you next time, guys.